Hi guys, my name is Tessa and I am part of the Mental Health Warriors team. And as it's World Mental Health Day, we just wanted to reach out, or I just wanted to reach out and say, please stay connected, let's break the stigma and let's share and open up about how we're feeling and when we're not feeling okay. The only way we are going to break the stigma is to talk about it, to connect with others who have similar viewpoints and understanding of what we're going through. And we are here to help. Reach out to your doctors, your psychologists, your psychiatrists, and reach out to us as a team because we are here for you. We understand the stigmas. We want to connect and we want you to be connected don't be ashamed um don't hold back uh, and reach out reach out reach out it's so important that we all break the stigma so that we can grow and improve our mental health our physical health our social well-being um thank you guys hi my name's melissa christie from the mental health warriors i just wanted to jump in today to say how important our mental health is. It's really important that we honour what it is that we're feeling, what it is that we're thinking about, and that it is so important to reach out to people, to talk to someone. You know, if there's something that's worrying you or something that you have concerns about, there's no shame in feeling what it is, whatever it is that you're feeling. There's no shame in your, your thoughts, what it is that you're thinking. And... You know, knowing that there are people around you who can support you, who can help you, who can guide you, is really important. And knowing that you're not alone is paramount to your mental health, is giving yourself that ability, giving yourself that gift of allowing yourself to reach out to somebody. So have a great day, have a beautiful Sunday, and thinking of you thanks for watching bye hey hey mental health warriors it's Andy Shazza in the garden and uh, I just wanted to talk about mental health and how important it is to reach out how important it is to talk to others to be vulnerable enough to share to be honest and open and real and that's bravery so hiding it from people I mean, I've done it myself for years <laughs> and I soon learned that bottling it up and pushing it down does not help. It does not help. What helps is unloading and sharing and saying, I really need help here and finding strategies and learning how to do this. Um, if you uh, follow our page, you will see me posting things about Emoji, which is my model for mental health, which I'll be telling you more about soon on Thursday night starting 21st October. So, yeah, reach out, really important, and it also helps to reduce the stigma for everybody. The more of us that, that um, express our, our mental health. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hey guys, Steve Knapp here, the Mindset Warrior. Just jumping in quickly with a bit of an important message around how amazingly different your life will be if you find the power to speak up and deal with your struggles. It's Mental Health Day and every day really is. There is so much we can learn from our mental health and different little tools and tricks we can use to change how we view ourselves, our situation and what's going on. And I know from a personal perspective, help is the most powerful word in the English language. Reach out, ask for help, speak up. There is always someone, no matter who it is, whether it's family, friends, any one of us warriors, we've been through it. I know for myself, after a 20 plus year battle with depression that the only thing that changed for me was when I found that that courage to speak up and talk to a couple of people about it and the whole world changed. There was no shame, there was no fear, there was no guilt. As soon as the words started flowing, the love came back to me in spades. And just remember, your vulnerability is your superpower. It is your absolute superpower. 
there is no no shame in telling someone you're struggling we all struggle at times we'll all continue to struggle at times but if no one knows you're suffering in silence we're always stronger together make sure the partnership never stops if you're not struggling reach out to someone that you think might be ask the questions that need to be asked are you okay how are you feeling what can i do to help you one little thing that would make your day easier and if you do this to every single person you know whether they've got a mental health battle or not the world is just going to end up a better place sending much love champions hope you're having an amazing life and if you're not reach out to us we're here for you much love bye Hi, it's Dale Walsh, the uh, Poetic Warrior of the Mental Health Warrior Organization. And I uh, just wanted to step in here and say for World Mental Health Awareness Day that uh, you aren't alone. Uh, I, I've been involved with schizophrenia for 46 years and I've learned many lessons and it hasn't been easy much of the time, but I have overcome, and I just wanted to emphasize to you that recovery is an option. It, you can always, there is always the possibility for improvement and to find the path to enlightenment and self-awareness and insight, and I just want, uh, I, I encourage you to not give up, never quit, and uh, do what you must to get the help that you need. Uh, whether it's schizophrenia or some other uh, psychic affect, as I prefer to call mental illness. But uh, just don't give up, find love, have faith in yourself and in the universe, and just be a full of desire for health and don't let your demons get you down because they aren't real. So uh, just, uh, just remember that you are a product of your thoughts. Your thought, Every thought that you have is what makes you the person that you are. So if you change your thoughts, you can change your, your personality. So have a good day. My name is Robin, and I'm the Addiction Warrior for the Mental Health Warriors Organisation. And to pay homage to World Mental Health Day, I wanted to give this message to anyone who might need to hear it. Please don't feel ashamed about what you're going through. You shouldn't be expected to control what's happening to you. It's not your fault, and you definitely don't have to do this by yourself. It's perfectly okay to ask for help, to look for help, to reach out and to talk. And if you can't reach out or you don't feel comfortable reaching out to support services or your doctor, contact the mental health warriors. There's a large team of us and we've had a lot of experience, both personal and professional, in mental health. And there's a good chance that we understand how you're feeling. And even if we don't, we do still want to help. Even my cat wants to help. Sort of. <laughs> and to everyone else out there today, if you could do one thing, and it shouldn't just be today actually, it should be every day, check in on your friends and your family, even yourself, check in and ask how they're doing. And when they say that they're fine and that they're doing okay, ask them again. And I know they'll probably pull a weird face at you because it's like, I've already asked you that. But ask them again. Because sometimes social protocol dictates that we ask people how they are as a greeting and people are expected to say yes. It's not really asking how they are sometimes. So if you ask a second time, people then realise that you are asking because you genuinely do want to know and that they have the space to be truthful about their answer without being judged. So be safe and be kind to yourself. Hello! How are you? Are you okay? They are just two of the most powerful statements 
ever when it comes to mental health. Now, I'm Adam Duval, the founder of the Mental Health Warriors organisation. And I'm just jumping on just to quickly record this feed. Just to say, speak out. Don't make the same mistake I did. Because when I found out I was being physically, emotionally, psychologically, even manipulative, abused. I, I kept that to myself for 21 years. And the best thing I ever did was tell someone about the problem. I am now here to spread that awareness. We're all here as a family, part of the mental health warriors. So it could be, please tell, talk to your family, your friends, your work colleagues. Reach out to organisations or even charities. For example, Mind, Samaritans, your doctor, even the mental health warriors. We're on all platforms. Speak out. Because that would be the best decision you'll ever make in your life. Hi, I'm Abigail, the musical warrior. Since it's Mental Health Awareness Day today, the Mental Health Warriors are encouraging everyone to speak out about any problems they may have. I know this can be really difficult, especially if you're a private person or for lots of other reasons. But when you feel ready to share, please do reach out as you'll be surprised as to how many people will want to help you. Of course, there's your family and friends, but there's also the Mental Health Warriors and numerous helplines over the phone or online, all there to offer you help and support. So please make sure you make use of these communication opportunities and speak to someone if you ever feel you need or want to. We don't want you to suffer in silence. You're not alone. Hi everyone, I'm Caroline Murphy Bennis, the author of the Rainbow Warrior children's book and also the founder of Flourish by Design. Recently, I was honoured to be asked to come on to the Mental Health Warriors team as a Rainbow Warrior, as an advocate for mental health. And my message is one of possibility and potential, because I see that in every single person, no matter what their struggles. And on the first step of that is finding connection. And this is a beautiful community that is supporting you in a loving way and we are here to educate you, to inform you, to support you and to most importantly to listen with no judgment and total acceptance. So please don't ever feel alone, don't ever feel trapped and in a corner where you have no connection to, to anyone and you feel unsupported. This is a, a safe space and we're only too happy to help in any way we can. And as a, a couple of tools that I would give you to help, you know, in this, as, as warriors will say, I would say, number one, try to find a little bit of joy in the smallest, simplest things, in having a cup of tea or just enjoying the sunlight. And two is to start to talk about your issues and to reach out for help. So we're always here and I sending our, our unconditional love. Thank you, bye. Hi, my name is Karen Unruh and I'm part of the Mental Health Warriors team. I'm known as Recovery Warrior. That doesn't mean I'm fully recovered. It means I'm on the journey to recovery. And like you, I'm learning to live with a mental illness. There doesn't need to be any stigma attached to that. But yes, society can make us feel like second class citizens and we worry about rejection. You know what though? One of the things that will help you most in your recovery is speaking out. 
talking to others about what you're going through and finding that there are others like you, that you're not alone and that you're not weird or strange. You're human, that you're good enough. And you'll find a companionship on your journey with others who understand. So please, when you can, find the courage to talk to someone, even if you just contact us with a comment on the Mental Health Warriors page on Facebook. Begin to speak out so that you find acceptance yourself for who you are and can love yourself more. Take care. Hi, I'm Kerry Burr, the Human GPS, and I'm an empowerment and transformational coach. So I help to empower others in order for them to be able to transform their lives into the most positive life they can imagine. I'm also really, really passionate about mental health. It's something that we all have and we will all at times experience dips in our mental health. Some of those dips can be deeper than others for some people. And the journey to getting back to a really good mental state can be hard. The thing is, it's as hard as we choose to make it. Now, that might sound a bit strange, uh, particularly if you're somebody who is experiencing a really tough and deep depression right now. But trust me, I've been there. I have been there. I had a nervous breakdown in 2006 and it took several months for me to get my life back on track. And I'm really proud to be a part of this group, the Mental Health Warriors. We're not fighters. We don't need to fight for anything, but we strive to raise awareness of mental health and to eliminate that stigma that seems to surround it still. And also to provide a safe space for those who are experiencing issues with their mental health and just want to reach out and speak to somebody. If you're one of those somebodies that's experiencing issues with your mental health today, right now, reach out to us. We're all here to help. And it's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Take care. Suffering in silence, it's so common, isn't it? However, when you suffer with ill mental health, there is no silence in your mind. On the contrary, there is a battlefield. Battlefield full of noises. Battlefield full of enemy. Battlefield full of bloodshed and struggle and assault after assault on your soul and being. But you are not destined to fight that battle alone. You need an army to win that fight. Therefore, on the World Mental Health Day, I'm just asking you, reach out, speak up, open up the channel of communication that would enable you to talk it out. You are not alone. And you shouldn't be alone in this battlefield. And that fight can be won. You just need support. Therefore, reach out. You are not alone. My name's Kerry Deval. I am the Warrior Queen. Mental health, it can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. But we're going to forget about the worst nightmare side and we're going to make mental health your best friend. I'm doing this video today on World Mental Health Day to encourage everybody to speak out. End the stigma of mental health by talking to each other. It's okay not to be okay. Make mental health your best friend today. Check up on your friends. Talk to somebody. Start with, are you okay? Or how are you? These three words are so powerful and can mean the world to somebody. I can't stress it enough. Talk to somebody, communicate with, another pe pe with other people.
mental health can be your best friend. When you're in that dark place, those three words, are you okay or how are you, can mean everything to that person. Please reach out to somebody today. Thanks.